Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Happy end of 2023. Today I am so excited to show you through the grand finale of this model year. Uh, so this is our 2024 Newmar Essex. This is a 4551 and this is my all time favorite coach. Always save the best for last. Uh, this will be my last Monday video as next week. Of course, we've got Christmas and then beyond that, we've got New Year's. So thanks so much for tuning in. As usual, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. So Marlon, please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, please note Jody is still here. He's just in the operating room behind the scenes. Marlon's shooting our videos today and Avin is off to Australia. Uh, the best news about this though is I get to show you my all-time favorite coach of 2023. So this is a Numar Essex uh, in the 4551 floor plan with all of my favorite decors, all of my favorite exterior colors, my favorite flooring, everything that I like the most. Um, if I could have any coach, it would probably be this one. So we'll start off with one of my favorite features. Of course, the 4551 boasts the largest shower in our lineup. Uh, you've got your conditioner, shampoo, and body wash all up here on the wall. If you look at the way that they've done this inlay, uh, this is the same flooring that you'll find uh, throughout the coach. It's also up on the wall, as you see in those higher end residential finishes with a really cool decorative tile uh, mosaic into the back. And then I love this faucet and shower head. So one of the best things about this coach, in my opinion, is this two-tone brass and brushed nickel uh, shower head assembly. Um, I just think this is so decadent, it's so beautiful. I love catching both of those metals in this coach. And then the flooring here is just so super cool. The way that they've got this kind of, you know, broken glass effect with that linear drain. And of course we still have our teak bench, uh, but everything about this shower is fantastic. Uh, especially when you get to the back of the door, having your nice towel bars and then your robe hook right up here next to the exit of the shower. Now you will note that we have gone back to the 40, I'm sorry, to the 110 uh, Splendid washer and dryer. Um, it's only because it's really hard to find a washer and dryer that works better and more consistently than this one. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the standard feature for 2024 moving forward. You still have this great drawer down below. All you need is a Ziploc bag full of Tide Pods and uh, some dryer sheets and you're good to rock and roll. If you would like to have access to the back of this washer and dryer, it's very easily wrought here compartment opens up nicely and as you'll notice we have all of these chains throughout this coach helping to, pre to protect this beautiful high gloss sable maple wood finish from having any kind of marring. Uh, you'll also note that we have in 2023 went to a great new uh, decor for the entire Essex line. We've got these really sexy mirrors uh, that are mounted and then the backlighting is behind the mirror, just gorgeous. Again, that two-tone faucet. You've got really lovely vessel sinks and I love the new backsplash. I love all of this glass tile. Um, the small subways are just so decadent. Uh, they're just beautiful. And then you'll note also that we still have our 110 outlets in the medicine cabinet here with all of that nice soft lined uh, carpeting on your shelves. And then down below, tons and tons of storage. So as you'll see here, we've actually got shelves in this lower area. Of course, this is something that's unique to Essex. Your outlets are covered, they're underneath. And then you've got a place here to keep your toothbrush or maybe your, uh, your, any of your utensils that you're using to get ready, whether it's a water pick or your floss. You've got a nice drawer here for his and hers shared section the whole way down. And of course, this is something that is really important to me. I love the separation of space that you get uh, with all of these drawers, but you'll notice that all of them are dovetailed and beautifully finished. And then again, another shelf underneath here and another place to keep your toothbrush or whatever else it might be that you like to have. Um, and then in this rear bathroom here, you'll see very definitively this cathedral ceiling. This is of course is something that's unique to any of our diesel pushers above that of the Dutch star. So Dutch star on up, you get this great cathedral ceiling giving you all of the headroom. But as you can see, we've got all this nice decorative cover for even your fantastic fan. And then over here we have our emergency egress door. 
And you'll see out here behind us, I do have our awnings deployed so you can kind of see what that elbow looks like. Very, very nice uh, finish there. And then also you'll notice that we have the bonded windows that came into, uh, came into fashion with the King Air. Now they're also on the Essex. I do like the new lighted and uh, actual tactile buttons for your Dometic toilet paper dispenser. And then when you open your closet door, the lights come on and you get to see this raw maple. This is what you have throughout this entire coach. And there's one person in this, uh, there's one person who does all the finishes in Essex from start to finish to make sure that there's a consistency to color. Uh, but as you can see here, look at all of that shoe closet that you have. And then you've got your two additional drawers down here. So great place to keep socks, you know, everything that you need uh, in the morning. You've got two bars for hanging on the left side. You'll also notice that this is a cedar lined closet. And there's a ton of adjustable shelves over here on the right side. So you could use this for a full wardrobe of hanging space, or you could use it for, you know, folding your jeans and your sweaters. But again, all cedar lined. Of course, you've got that safe. You will find we do have some carpet in this coach, but it's only here in uh, the rear closet. And again, these lights come on and off when you open and close. And then to lock this, you just pull this little lock down that keeps this from opening while you're in transport. Now, please take a look at this floor here. One of the things I want to make mention is not only is this floor heated uh, all throughout the coach, it's also even heated here on the engine cover. So a really nice feature. If you get up in the morning and you want to have a cool bedroom, but your toesies to be warm, you can go ahead and run this last zone of your heated floors. Now, as we enter into this bedroom, um, one of the things we'll have to talk about is, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't know about these bonded windows. Why do I want them? Well, you want them for sound. You want to have that quiet drive going down the road. But what Numar has been able to do is they've got this integrated screen door, or not screen door, but integrated screen in this window right here. Oops. So you can see when I open this, it actually opens the screen for you. And then when I close it, the screen retracts. And then you've got that bonded window closed. So something that people were asking for was ventilation in the bedroom. So we've been able to give you that fresh air feel in this bedroom. But look at the size of this dresser. This is so amazing. And then up top here, so much nice. Again, adjustable shelving, which I really like. Uh, this is a set shelf, but this top shelf is removable. So any of those taller items. And of course, you've got your Samsung 43 inch smart TV with all of the wiring ready to go up top. And then also, please note that you have 110 outlets integrated here along with USB ports. So if you'd like to charge anything, you can do that. And look at these beautiful drawers. So nice, so solid, all soft clothes, so much space in this coach. Uh, this is just absolutely probably the most um, decadent and well-finished uh, coach, in my opinion, uh, in terms of a color combination from an exterior to interior standpoint. I love the grays. I love the dark wood. This has got my name all over it. Now, underneath this bed, I do have one of the chairs out just so you can see, but these are your two 11 inch inserts for your extendable dinette. There's one of your chairs underneath. And then up here behind the bed, you'll see we have this fantastic tufted plush headboard. So nice. Everything about this coach is so first class. You've got your great overhead storage. Again, grommets coming through all of this very nice high polish again on your maple finish. Everything is set so simply to work so well. And then even these little, um, these little uh, slide covers have backlit in them. So you can see this beautiful carving throughout the coach. And then Marlon, if you'll just show down there, I have my phone charging right now. So that, sh that phone charger, uh, that phone is charging. It's just sitting on this little circle, but you still have the cutout here above so that you can get into the 110 and USB ports underneath there. So while you're going down the road, if you want to stow your plugs and use a hard plug, you can. I'll tell you personally, um, <laughs> the only downside to using this charger is when you get it, you can see it just it magnetically like locks in. But if you're sleeping and you knock it, you know, at night, you might uh, remove your phone from charging. So I like the fact that they give you both that option of putting it down on top and then also having that cut out. Now, Marlene, come on over here. Let's take a look. First and foremost, look at how beautiful this finish is with your, with your very nice 
smoked mirror, your high chair well, your paneled inserts. I mean, everything about this coach is first class. This is absolutely gorgeous. You can see in 2023, we changed our ceiling. Uh, so we've got these lovely inlays that match not only on top, but on either side of your side outs. And of course, they're also backlit, keeping your central air uh, hidden from view. Now here in the center of the coach, we have one of our control panels. So this is where you can change uh, your coach mode. So you can also check your, uh, your power inputs. You can take a look and see that your generator is running. You can take a look at your water levels, all of these things here in this bedroom. So that's a really nice feature that you have um, here in the center of the coach. But then on top of it, we've gone to an even larger 10 inch panel here in the center. Uh, so when you're not in the bedroom or you know when you're up in the morning, maybe someone's sleeping in, you still have all of that same access here. Center of the coach, very easy to access. I love the fact that all of the awnings are on one, comp one control panel now. This has been a big uh, gripe for me for a long time. You've got to search all over the coach to be able to put those awnings in and out. This morning I was able to deploy all of them so simply. And then I love the fact that we now have a button where we can actually go through and figure out what lights are on or off, or you could turn them all on or all off with the touch of a button. Uh, really, really nice feature. And then I do know that I wanted to do exterior passenger security on. I think I don't have these on. So I'm gonna turn all of these lights on um, so that you can see those when we go outside. I noticed that they were off earlier. But it's really interesting uh, that you know we've gone to this centralized control panel and you can use your My Rosie app so that when you are not at your coach, you can still log in and get your coach set up and ready for you to go. Um, before you get to the location where you might be picking your RV up from. So if you've got it housed indoor uh, and you've got it plugged into 50 amp and you wanna turn your floor heat on and get the coach warmed up, you can do all of that remotely. You can also just monitor the coach and make sure you know what's going on with it when you're not around. Now here in this mid bathroom, look at how bright this is. This is such a beautiful execution of a still room. Um, I love that you have this integrated mirror light. Again, that small tile that you have for the subway tile and so much room here uh, for your you know, flat iron, your hair dryer, your curling iron, and then another opening window. Now, why is this important? Um, it's really important because if you want to get that ventilation from outside, you don't really need a whole lot of windows. You just need enough to be able to give you uh, the circulation of the fresh air. So it's just nice to have all these little entry points where you can get that beautiful pine smell from the forest surrounding you into the coach. And of course our breaker boxes are so well organized, uh, so beautiful, you know, to see the execution of how these wires are all tucked, they're all banded together. Everything is so neat, everything is so tidy. And then keep in mind, this coach also has uh, the mana block system. So for instance, if you had a leak, for instance, under the sink here, and you wanted to turn off this center bath, you could actually turn off uh, specific areas of water in this coach. Uh, we also have our central vac right here. And then you also have your hose attachment right here as well. A nice place to keep your toilet paper. And then of course your get ready drawer. Or you, if you're the first person up in the morning, you can use this very comfortably to get ready. This is a great place, natural light. Put your mirror here, get ready to go in the morning, have a cup of coffee, let whomever it is in the back sleep in and get ready for your day. It's just a great, great mid bath that we have here, this bath and a half model. Now, another great feature that we added in 2023 is going to be down here. We have, I've opened this up. I always move them around during the videos. I just did it in advance today. You could really put like a big pot down there. You could put your frying pans down there. All of your pots and pans can go down here sideways. And then you still have these great, huge um, dovetail finish pantry, uh, pantry drawers. And on the Essex, when you are in motion, this bar will slide into place and lock. So you don't have to worry about them coming open while you're going down the road. Uh, you'll also note that when we get over here to the right, um, there's a few things happening here. First of all, this wallpaper is gorgeous. It's got just a little bit of light to it. It's not silver, but it's got a little bit of a sheen. You've got this really nice soft touch finish, very well adorned throughout the coach. The attention to detail in this coach is so amazing. And then you'll see something we haven't seen yet this year, unless you've been in a King Air in Essex, and that is a ice maker and uh, water uh, distribution on the door. So we have ice and water on this Bosch refrigerator. 
This is different than the Whirlpool that we see throughout the rest of our product line. It still has that great cheese and meat drawer down below. If anything, this coach is just a step above. Uh, but you do have ice and water on the door, adjustable shelves, plenty of room on the doors here. And then I love, you know, you got the digital display. But look at this. This is such a nice accessible point. Um, I don't, you know, how do these high-end refrigerators make things just all that much better? Just by being a little bit, a little bit more uh, finished, a little more accessible, you can adjust this sh this this little guy here to be whatever size you need it to be. I mean, it's just a just one step up from what you would normally find on any other RV available in the marketplace. Now we have a Bosch uh, refrigerator here. We also have a Bosch convection and microwave oven as well as air dryer. So this is a really, really nice feature in this coach. The other thing that we have here by Bosch, which is so nice, this is the only uh, stovetop that we have um, in our diesel pushers that has a three burner oven. So this is a three burner cooktop. You've got a small, medium, and large. And look at the size of this. This is so much bigger. And I wanted to show both options. So we have this with our cutting boards here. Or if you wanted to, you could also have this with your regular kitchen cover. Um, now, just to the right of it, again, one of my favorite features is this beautiful faucet, once again, with the brass and the brush nickel. So you've got that inner, that inner, um, you've got the duality of the metals that you can tie into anything that you like throughout the coach. And I, that sounds silly, but for me, like, I really like to be able to use silvers, chromes, brasses, all of those things in my, in, in my execution in my kitchen. So it's so nice when you have it built into the coach. It gives you so much better flexibility. And then look at this beautiful uh, glass tile backsplash. It's so subdued. It, it's very quiet, very classy. Um, so these glass uh, subway tiles are just a little bit bigger than the ones that you see throughout the coach, but they tie everything together. This coach just looks so purposeful. Again, all adjustable shelves huge room up here above your sink fully extendable soft close everything and then the smaller stainless steel undermount sink on the right with the larger basin here on the left so a ton of room uh, on this coach uh, very easy to keep clean nice stainless steel good old-fashioned sink and then of course the 4051 boasts this really nice pull out here, this, so this little island is a great place for putting some chips and dip while you're entertaining. You also have really large drawer space. Again, all soft clothes, dovetail finish. And then this, very simply, you can just go right away and fade into the distance when you close up for transport. Now, the only thing that you're going to have here uh, that is not Bosch is your official Fisher, Fisher Pakel dishwasher. You'll find that in all of our RVs. And then of course, we've got a great silverware drawer, lots and lots of remotes. Um, keep in mind, like even your sleep number remotes are really just sexy looking. I mean, how cool is that? Um, <laughs> we've got the universal remote in here and we also have uh, a nice stainless steel wastebasket along with some places to keep your slide cover or your sink covers. And this is, as I mentioned, just a, a step above everything else you're gonna find in our product line with Numar. I love this little drawer. I don't know what you'll put in there because you already have this one here. And then you also have a place, look at how many scrubbies you could have. That's like scrubby central. That's like a dream come true. Um, all of these little features are things that I just love about Numar. But as I was mentioning, Look at how decadent this, this coach is. Now, so one of the things that allows us to have this beautiful, uh, this beautiful appearance is these bonded windows. So the way that these are set, so you've got windows all the way out to the corners here. You're really not missing anything in this coach. And then with all of your LED backlighting, your beautiful Lambrequin built in with this, I mean, you've got your wood integrated into the finish of the Lambrequin with your soft touch leather. And then you've got your linen behind, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. Now, of course, we have our um, light up, you know, cup holders. And then we also have these fantastic theater seats. 
Now, what would you need a theater seat for to coach like that? Well, you might need a theater seat for theater mode. So let's just go ahead and get to theater mode. So we're gonna go ahead and go to systems. We're gonna hit theater mode. So things like this are way over the top and totally unnecessary. No one needs theater mode in their life. But my goodness, man, if you're gonna have a coach that really is gonna impress everybody, this is the way to do it. Theater mode is so cool. As you can see, it's got all of my backlighting up here uh, addressed, so it's just dimmed the lights just a little bit. I've got my TV up, all of my shades drop, and I'm ready to watch a movie in my fantastic theater seats. I have a little extra storage here if I wanna keep a blanket underneath. I can probably fit two throws in this compartment here. I'll let you catch up to me, Marlon. You can come over here. I'm gonna pull shades while you do that. Um, but so yeah, two throw blankets very easily could fit there. And like I said, all of this stuff is unnecessary, but it just is the difference that you have when you get into the Essex line. And you'll note that this tufting on the seats that they came into with uh, our 2023 uh, facelift is just really, really decadent and just gorgeous. This coach screams luxury. Um, now I wanted to show you how much room you really had in the dinette. So first and foremost, I have the dinette extended. I have one of our chairs out, uh, but as you can see, this dinette, because of the way that it's shaped, has room for actually having two people. So you could really sleep, you could really seat six here. I love this, bu the buffet that stands, uh, that stays in place so you can keep your napkins up there, maybe your French press. Um, but I also like the fact that when I'm sitting back here, maybe enjoying a, gla a glass of champagne, whatever it is, you know, celebrating the new year, which I will be doing in San Diego in my RV. Uh, so if you miss me uh, until about the 10th of January, um, I will be uh, thinking of you uh, as I watch the waves lap against the shore uh, in San Diego. But no, I really, so this is one of my favorite places to sit in my RV and I think it's just so comfortable uh, with a small cushion back here. It just gives you a little extra room so you can fit that extra person. And then Marlon, just show how beautiful, even the table leg is so ornate. It's so well done. It, this is such a beautiful execution uh, of a coach. And then you just pop this up. It has a magnet on the back. Very easily sticks into place. Slide this in. There you go. Now over here, you'll note that we also have extra sleeping accommodations. I'm going to make this quick. That way, if you don't want your relatives or in-laws to know that it's here, you don't have to worry about it. But this is a trifold. You remove this um, this cushion and this cushion, so you've just got two to remove. This will fold down and give you a full queen size bed. Um, as I said, this villa furniture though is just, if anyone's got uh, long legs, it's got enough of a deep cushion on the seat that you can sit all the way back. So this is a really, really nice, and it's a soft but firm couch. It's just great. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, this is by far probably my favorite of all of our product lines. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little guy here. Um, so just let's talk a little bit about outlets. So for those of you that are worried about your toaster or your coffee maker, we've got one here. We have one up here. And then we have one on either side of the couch. So one over here on the right, one on the left. And then we have another one back here as well. So there's an outlet there. There's one very, you see it's way far in the corner. You got that? So there's one back there and then there's another one here. So plenty of power for everybody who needs it. Now, one of my favorite things about this coach is gonna be this flooring. It, if you can't see it in person, I'm sorry. It is by far the most sophisticated flooring we've ever offered by with Newmar. Um, it is just gorgeous. Now, of course, you're gonna have some of it covered with throw rugs, but if you were ever to drop anything onto this floor, you would really not see it at all, which is such a nice way to do things. It's so easy to keep it clean looking in here. Um, so I just love that. Now, the other thing we'll talk about is gonna be, of course, our walking space. So we'll go ahead and bring these slides in real quick. Now, you'll note that this is a full wall slide on the passenger side, or on the driver's side, and this is lifting. Uh, this is part of our HWH hydraulic leveling system. They also power our hydraulic slide. Because that slide is able to rise before it comes in, it gives us the ability to have a full tile finish. And this is what we call more floor. 
So we've got that more floor coming in. Of course, for any of you who like to camp coastally, we all know that sand is the enemy. It's so nice to not have any sand in your carpet. And if you don't have any carpet, you don't have to worry about any sand. Take a look at this bonded window, Marlin, from the outside. Isn't that just fantastic? Look at how clean that is. So different than anything else that we offer in these product lines. Um, now keep in mind, there's a few things that really make a Essex unique. Above and beyond uh, the higher caliber wood finish, the higher quality appliances. Um, this coach also has some really nice features uh, from a mechanical standpoint. Uh, you have your safe hall, so you can actually weight the front of the coach uh, to be heavier when you have a heavy load in the back. Uh, you also have an optional Kurt Spectrum integrated brake control. Uh, you also have, look at this wonderful room, great walking room, a monoblock system, 80 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, um, 105 gallons. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get that back. 80 gallons of gray water, 60 gallons of black water, and 105 gallons of fresh water. Apologize. Um, <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself there. I started off with the gray water. Uh, but no, so you've got all of these nice features uh, integrated into this coach that make it just all that much easier to go down the road. But something that we've started offering in 2023 is a lithium ion battery pack, and that will be standard in the Essex. Now this Essex has all three of the lithium ion batteries, so 960 amp hours of battery charge. But then on top of it, because it has uh, so much power, they're able to, uh, to install a dedicated uh, inverter. So you've got two inverters on this coach instead of one. Uh, so you've got one of your inverters dedicated to being able to run central air without actually being plugged in. So that's, that's a really big deal for a lot of people who don't want to necessarily run their generator going down the road. Um, all honesty, I think running your generator going down the road is not a big deal. It's a 12.5 kilowatt uh, quiet diesel generator by Onan. Um, but if you are in a park that has quiet hours and you're not plugged in and you want to have your AC, especially if you're done in some of those beautiful coastal areas that are maybe a little bit more remote and you're just trying to be courteous to your neighbors, you can go ahead and run your air conditioner without being plugged into 50 amp or running your generator. So a huge new advantage for those of us that have been out uh, boondocking before. I will be spending a majority of my uh, time in uh, San Diego uh, at a camp land on the bay. It's like a little RV resort that's through New Year's Eve um, or New Year's Day. But then after that, I'm gonna move up to San Alejo and I won't be plugged into anything. And I do know um, in San Diego, I don't really have to worry about those super hot temperatures. But if you are Floridian or if you're down in the Gulf Coast, any of those places where it gets warmer, it would be really nice to be able to run uh, your uh, run your air conditioner without having your generator on. And that's exactly what this coach can do. Now Marlon's gonna show you, we're putting down this 50 inch TV. Of course, these are all smart TVs. Uh, Wi-Fi is gonna be standard in this coach. Again, all of these beautiful bonded windows giving you a great ability to see out into the campground. And then if you can see here, I've got our awning de deployed here with our lights on. So that would help you if you couldn't have that bigger awning out and you could only, uh, and you wanted to have uh, still some sun protection at a campground, maybe you're a little bit too close to the trees, whatever it may be, these are your uh, smaller awnings. And as you can see, these are a much higher level of awning than what we carry uh, in any of our other coaches, because again, this Essex is that much better, that much more special uh, than the rest of our product line. Uh, this year, they've gone to an all leather steering wheel uh, years past we had that wood grain interface this is a really nice handle also got our leather rep dash you also have your new dash system so starting in 23 uh, spartan did a new new dash that has a lot better control for instance comfort drive you can just tap this little button on the back to change your comfort drive settings uh, but everything is very clear you got your lane tracking package and then starting in 2023 we also have six sensors three on each side so this little yellow caution triangle is saying hey we're not going anywhere we're not moving so yellow means you are going to be in charge of deciding whether or not there's someone to the left or right of you if you were driving down the road though over 26 miles an hour and that was red that would mean that the coach was reading the radar 
and that there was someone in your blind spot. So you have now an integrated blind spot detection. And I also like the fact that you have your turn signals built into your mirrors. We've all been in that position where we wouldn't get over and someone tries to pretend that they don't see us uh, trying to change lanes. It's a really great way to, to like, you can kind of look over and be like, I know you see my arrow guy and uh, it's, it's good. So um, of course you're driving, uh, you know, a 44 foot, 11 inch long bus and you're 13 feet, four inches tall. So you're probably going to get someone's attention if you decide to start moving over, but we can at least be courteous and let them know in advance that we'd like to go there. Um, now you'll see your uh, side camera is integrated into that mirror down below. So when I turn that on, I also can see down this side of the coach. And that's a great time to talk about the fact that we are looking at stock number 5N230661. That's what that little sticker says. Oh, there's my engine cover. That's the rear. Um, I have all sorts of great uh, views that I can see with this. This coach, of course, is, you know, I hate to say it. Everyone's getting kind of used to all the stuff that Numar does. But you've got these two great monitors, right? So you've got a full-time uh, dedicated camera. Uh, but you ha also have your overhead can't you have your overhead uh, camera as well and of course that's operated with four cameras located strategically throughout uh, the coach and it gives you the ability to hit any picnic table that you want exactly where you were aiming no I'm just kidding don't hit picnic tables okay so let's talk about some other things about this so we all know about our comfort drive steering which makes the coach go back to center so when we're going down the road instead of having to have that fight this coach has an electronic bias towards the middle of the road it's very easy to turn you could literally you could drive this coach with your pinky no kidding it's not like an overstatement uh, but in 2023 we've added 11 more buttons down here so you've got all of your headlight control your phone control your radio control all of your dash controls right here at the touch of a button so you're not spending time looking around down here uh, we still have power mirrors that are heated. Uh, we have also got a new uh, light system. I always have to look at Silver Star, Silver Star Ultra headlights with automatic high, uh, automatic high beam control. So you can actually have this set up so that if you're coming through a mountain pass and you've got your high beams on, maybe it's a rainstorm or it's just something where you don't want to mess with stuff, this will automatically go up and down just like it would on your Mercedes Benz or your BMW. Again, windows that open are clutch. So nice power window here, big entryway. Um, and then we also have our Kurt Spectrum integrated trailer brake right here. And of course this coach is already pre-wired for everything that you would need for your Air Force One and Blue Ox system if you want to, if you want to have a tow vehicle. Uh, we do have the Allison transmission, the 4000 MH. This is gonna give you a towing capacity of uh, of 20,000 pounds, but the extra, the higher grade your transmission is, the better your capability of the coach to tow. So with this coach having 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque, and then a larger transmission by Allison, you have just all that much more uh, control over your towing capacities. And then we've got over here our hydraulic leveling system. If you've never really paid attention to this, it's saying that we're in travel mode, which means that our jacks are up. And then we're, our nose is pointing forward when we're tilted to the right. That's what those mean. Um, if you had all of your jacks deployed, these four buttons on the side would be red. Um, so you can just easily auto level or uh, retract your dash settings. And then down here, one of the nice features that you don't get until you get to Essex is going to be the fact that you have a memory control uh, for your seats, which is one for you, one for your wife, and then one for me on weekends. Oh, look at that, I just pushed three. Isn't that cool? So three moved my seat my steering wheel up and out of my way so I could show you the keyless go so you also have your push button start so we'll go ahead and turn that off I'm gonna leave the front generator on um, well you know what I don't even need to I can go ahead and stop that right here so one of the things that's so nice about this coach is that you have not only all of the apps that you can use um, on your phone but you also could uh, could access your generator from here. You can access it from your control panels and you can even access it now from the water bay. So really easy to use. You will take a look at, this is the optional larger seat that we have. So this is called the queen seat. Uh, this seat is not only heated, it is also ventilated. So there's three levels of hot and three levels of cool with this seat. And then on top of that, we have our massage feature. So I don't know if you can hear that Marlon 
um, but it's vibrating. So if you're going down the road and you're getting a little bit of that driver fatigue, maybe you're, you know, a little, need a little blood circulation going, you've got massage seats in this Essex, as well as an embroidered headrest on uh, both the driver's and passenger seat. Of course, the only other place where we see uh, the embroidered headrest is going to be at the level of King Air. Um, now, this is a completely different coach than King Air. So if you didn't have a chance to watch my 2023 a King Air versus Essex comparison. I've got about 200 videos out there. They're all pretty long, but they're fairly informative. And if you want to know what the difference is and why you would consider one versus the other, um, because there's a pretty substantial price differentiation, uh, please feel free to tune into that or just reach out to me and let me know how I can help you with questions that you might have. Uh, so of course, we've got another great television up here, another 43 inch smart TV. You'll notice that we do have our Xantrex uh, solar Integration is a little bit different than that old white and green one that we used to have. We still have our uh, standard Windegard uh, auto antenna. This is just finding all of the stations for us. All of your slide controls, all of your drape controls, you know, for your curtains in the front, all of those things. And then this is a new button for you. If you didn't know about this, uh, when you get down to about 10% on these batteries, the coach will uh, automatically shut down because it wants to make sure it doesn't get too low and do damage to the battery. So there's a nice reset button here where in our initial incarnation of these uh, lithium ion battery packs, you had to hit the reset button in the bay down below, but now you can actually hit it up here at the front of the coach. So whenever you get your generator started and you want to get your battery cycling again, you can just come up there to push the button. Uh, and of course, I talk about this all the time, but this great level of finish that you have here where they make everything look seamless, even though it's a smaller cabinet. And then down below this, you'll find we have Mike Pinocchi. Uh, this is our Essex specialist. One of the things that's so nice about having a dedicated specialist, Mike knows this coach inside and out. So if you have an issue and you can't get a hold of our personal uh, specialist that you get to have access to when you buy a coach here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado, you can always reach out to Mike. And it's really nice to have somebody who's so familiar with the coach. Now, as I alluded to earlier, Bill Habercorn is our on-site specialist. We have a gentleman who is specifically dedicated uh, 365 days a year to making sure you have all of your questions answered so you have two levels of support with us whenever you buy a coach at Newmar, I'm sorry, at uh, TransWest here in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, now, I do want to just make sure I show you these last two cabinets because here's where you have your manual awning control. So you'll see those there. And then this, I always thought, was so that you could hand beer through when you got back from the grocery store, but apparently it's actually set so that you can look out the window when you're driving down the road, which I thought it was like a great place to be able to hand groceries through. Uh, this is the, oh shit, I lost the Jeep camera. Oh, let's see if I can get that back on there so you can see everything behind you. And then we've got wireless charging ports on both sides of your coach. And then on our way out, Marlon and I are gonna show you those controls for the seats. So the seats I'm gonna do, oh, I have it turned off, you can't see them. Okay, but you can show them that what it looks like. There's three little buttons, or three little lights. On the bottom you would get three blue lights and on the top you could have three red lights. And that's gonna be for your heated and cooled seats. So as we come out, here's another place where HWH becomes really integral for us. This is the hydraulic uh, step. So as you can see, this has a really nice long platform all the way out. And then this little sensor down here will let us know if there's a curb in the way. So it would actually articulate and stop earlier if it needed to. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the Broderick uh, decor on the inside, but this is the Versailles exterior uh, paint finish. And I just think it is so beautiful. I love the white and black and gray. Um, it is just absolutely my style. Of course, I have a 100% white coach, so I like these nice bright candy whites. There is no pearl in this. If you're looking for something that has maybe one of those more alabaster finishes, this is not it. This is a very white, silver, and gray paint, and it has this beautiful uh, shadowing throughout. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, we have the lighted um, doorbell and number plate here so you can open and close your doors here. Uh, you can also unlock and lock your bays. Now, um, as we talked about earlier, dual fill uh, for DEF and for your fuel system, but take a look. So more of these King Air features. You've got this little blue glowy button. That means that your, that your doors are on. So here we have access to our Dometic on a tray. This is going to come out all the way past the front slide. So even when you're camped, 
you can still get all the way out here so you can have access even with a slide deployed to your uh, refrigerator or freezer and of course you can set this to be uh, two refrigerators two freezers or one of each whatever makes you happy um, and then they've added, of course, this is a new feature in 23. We added these uh, trays starting off in 21 with the King Airs. But, you know, if you're loading stuff, it's really nice to have somewhere to put things down. But take a look at this. This is all the panache. So you've got your soft close uh, bay doors. This is like a Mercedes Benz S Class feature. So it's so nice. Not only do you have everything. Um, on power, but you also have your doors um, with again storage trays above, but that beautiful soft close to close. Marlon, you open the TV, I can't reach it. I like my TV down below. That's the only thing I would change, but this is still really nice 43 inch Samsung smart TV um, with a great sound bar. Another power tray, I'm only gonna open one of these I don't know if you guys all watch my videos, but if you do, you all know that I like the non-powered trays the best because these are kind of slow. But I mean, you're camping. You're not in a hurry. Like, what's the rush? We don't need to like rush to get our slides out. It doesn't take that long either, but um, I don't know. So the manual ones are just faster. This is like agonizingly long for someone who runs at my speed. Um, but no, so these are cool. They're again, once again, just totally decadent. As you saw, it came out to 60%. So even with your slide deployed, you'd still be able to get to the middle of that tray. Uh, here's one of those cameras that we have uh, for your surround uh, overhead. And you'll note that there's an opening window here. There's an opening window here. And then there's an opening window here. So even though this coach has got bonded windows, you're still going to be able to get fresh air circulating throughout the coach. Uh, so this is your largest bay. Um, from a height standpoint, this is a great place to be able to keep your lawn chairs, your paddle boards, and you could have an optional tray installed here just in case you don't want one, we leave them out, but they're really inexpensive for us to add. We can add them here as the, for the same price that we could at the factory. So um, great feature here. Of course, we've got our central vac where you could actually vacuum off you know, your outdoor rugs and underneath your bays. And then of course, you could also use those hose attachments inside as well. Uh, so this is going to be a great place to keep all of your top shelf and mixers outside. This is where I would put my TV, but if you've got it, why not make margaritas? So there's a grounding wire over here on the left, but on the right here, you'll see this is where your drain is. It's coming from that uh, sky deck above. So you've got that patio where all of your appliances are housed inside a nice little nestled safe place where they're going to be out of the elements when you're going down the road and when that water comes out it comes down little ports like this so you don't get the drip going down the side of the coach so a great docking light here i've turned some of them on i don't think i got all of them. there's one up there uh, but then this is going to be again that blind spot assist and then of course you've got your gigantic 22 and a half 315s in the back so in this back of this coach we've got six tires we've got 365s on the front so just a little bit wider but this is a pivoting tag axle so in 2011 uh, spartan was able to take this k3 chassis from a 10 degree uh, pivot to a 17 degree pivot so that is going to give you a ton of flexibility when it, you're getting a larger coach into a smaller spot instead of having this uh, area back here be your turning radius your turning radius is starting all the way up here to your front wheel giving you a really nice tight uh, turning radius much easier to maneuver and get into uh, parks uh, so in this bay here we have access to our def fluid of course this is a clean burning diesel vehicle uh, and then you'll also see we have our emergency suspension fill and exhaust panel so if you ever get to the point where you're too low in your airbags and they're not registering you could come here and actually add a little error to those airbags until they are able to inflate or if you just have a problem with one and you need to get it pumped up uh, that's your access point here there's a lot of nice little access points this is the only not soft closed door you have to actually kind of close it kind of hard and then here we have our spartan um, our Spartan chassis comes with all of your filters very easily uh, accessible and then you've got two chassis on off switches. Uh, your house is right inside the door when you walk out the, the sliding door. But as you can see there's two there. And then if you had a King Air, you would have a power um, 
a power release. With this coach, you don't have that. There's actually a pull to release here, but I've already opened that up so that you can see, again, we've got our K3 605 horsepower. Uh, this is a Cummins engine. This is the ISX. This is uh, the ISX. So there's two ISXs. There's a 14.98 liter and there's an 11.9 liter. This is the 15 liter ISX. This is the ISX that's going to give you 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. This is the ISX that has got the uh, 605 horsepower. This is the same engine that you have powering a lot of your really big coaches uh, out there in the marketplace. If you ever wanted to have the best passing power, the most capability going up a hill, this is where you find it. And then as I mentioned earlier, this whole coach is really set up for everything that you're going to need to have. Your Voyager camera system is already uh, pre-lined here. You've got a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Your tow brake is integrated already, as is your Kurt Spectrum integrated trailering brake. So everything that you need is here uh, in place already. Oh yeah, you get it, Marlon. Hey, you know what the best part about that was? Marlon wasn't looking at me when I tried to jump. <laughs> <laughs> to close that. Um, okay, so again, another one of those lane, uh, lane tracking radars, your side mounted radiator, your other def filling area. A nice place to keep some gloves. If you're putting def in a coach and you know how stinky it is, it would be a great place to keep maybe a backup gravity hose just in case you need to have something, uh, maybe you run over your Santa Con hose, who knows, but a backup gravity hose, but most importantly, a thing of gloves right here. And then uh, over here on the in this water bay, you'll notice this is very different than any of the other coaches that you'll see because you have this monoblock system. So what this is telling you is if you have a leak in a shower, if you have a leak in your faucet, in your stool room, whatever it is, you can turn your water on and off individually here, which is a really nice feature. And then you'll also note that we have a black water and gray water rinse feature available in this coach. So you've got both of those. Um, and then over here on this control panel, not only is it digital, but you can also turn your generator on and off and you can tilt this coach. So literally you can raise up the passenger side of this coach and tilt towards the driver's side so that you can empty your waste all that much easier. This is a power reel here. So your, your water hose is on a power reel. There's a grommet here for that to go through. And then there's a grommet here for your SantaCon system a whole house water feature or a whole house water filter and then hot and cold water as well as a paper towel dispenser just a really nice super high end uh, luxury uh, bay underneath here and i love the way this goes up and down so that you have access to it even when the slide is open and again that's all going to be that beautiful soft close feature uh, here we've got a buddy plug so if you've got anything that you want to whether it's a trailer or anything else that you want to plug in you've got a uh, plug right here of course there's a grommet down below to exit but this is going to be the grommet for your power cord which is on a power reel uh, cable supply surge protector and then again really nice soft closed drawer your oasis dual loop chinook system so keep in mind this is going to be a 50,000 btu uh, water system so this tankless hot water heater gives you hot water if you're plugged into sewer and 50 amp you could, and water, you could literally take a shower for 10 hours straight and never run out of hot water. And the thing that's so amazing about this system is you can get this water too hot where you actually have to turn it down. And that's such a compliment uh, to any manufacturer because we know that that isn't always the way that it is. Now, this is the other side of the slide that we pulled out earlier, but it gives me a great opportunity to show you these LED lights that you find underneath this cabin. So there's LED lights lighting up this entire area underneath so well. And you can also see our star foundation. And what this star foundation is doing is it's raising this coach up above the chassis rail. So you can see there's a bunch of wiring that's going through this coach underneath the belly of this coach. But it's also taking the floor off of the chassis rail. So you're not going to have tile popping or cracking. You're also going to have a much quieter uh, ride going down the road and then the way that these z bars go in and you can see the way that they're forcing that weight from that height from the heavier slide exteriors towards the center you've got a lower center of gravity that's more in the middle of the coach giving you better handling and performance going down the road so cooler in the summer warmer in the winter quieter down the road everything about this coach is done on purpose Numar does such a fantastic job and that doesn't even get into what you have here and these sidewalls so 
One of the things I've got to say is um, a little birdie told me I might have an opportunity to go uh, to Newmar next month and uh, take a picture or make some videos of how these coaches are built and assembled. If you haven't had a chance to take an actual factory tour on your own, I really encourage you to do it. Um, I go every year. Um, I just got back in November. Again, I'm going back in January. But when I say 16 on center construction, one of the most interesting things about this coach is everything is set here in an aluminum C channel that has holes throughout it, giving it better rigidity, but also the ability to wire things through the entire length of this coach. And then also giving you uh, residential insulation in not only the sidewalls, but underneath the floor and in the roof of this coach. This is an R19 uh, roof value. So for any of you that have ever been out in the cold, this coach is gonna be nice and warm and comfy in the worst conditions or nice and cool in the hottest conditions. These are all features that really differentiate this product over the rest. And then again, I've got both of our awnings deployed here. I know we talked about it inside, but here again is that other uh, window that is opening for a bonded window. You've got two on this side, three on the other. So for those of you that were concerned about not having airflow in this coach, you've got great airflow in this coach. And of course, with those three 15,000 BTU air conditioners and heat pumps, uh, and the ability to run those without being plugged in, you'll have that kind of air conditioning and fresh air going through the coach in any circumstance, whether you're plugged in or you have your generator on or not. Um, so here's that smaller slide. And then to the bay on the left, that is where we have our three lithium ion batteries. Uh, so these lithionics, um, can, you can get two. Uh, it's an additional charge for a third battery in most situations. They're 320 amp hours a piece. But with all three of those, you've got 960 amp hours of battery charge, which is more than if you would have with those standard 800 amp hours of battery charge. But this is what makes that difference. So having that second inverter in this bay is one of the biggest difference makers that we have. Now, of course, on the Essex, again, you always get a little level up. You've got a nice place to keep a place to wash your uh, windshield when you get to your campsite. We do have a hot water line standard to the generator. Um, another fueling station here. And then I just have a little tiny gap over here so you can see that 12.5 kilowatt generator. Um, I didn't feel like we needed to really get it all the way open just for the aesthetic. I opened it just partially, but you can see those big air horns and that big generator. Uh, again, that's going to be operated with your hydraulic slide control powered again by HWH. And keep in mind, we've had this, this partnership with HWH for over 30 years. They really know what they're doing uh, for us. And they allow us to do things like this incredible full wall slide, giving you so much more room in the coach. Uh, now, a few little things to talk about. They've got a new uh, chrome exhaust tip. <laughs> I don't know if I care, but that's cool, whatever. Uh, again, side monitors here. We've already talked about all of the integrated camera controls here. What we didn't talk about is here in the front how we have our windshield wipers tucked in underneath so they're not going to get uh you know battered by that wind battered by those elements going down the road they're not going to be freezing to your windshield and then up on top you can see our overhead camera we have our mobile eye right here we have our beautiful new front end rear fascia for the essex we have our radar here for your for your active cruise control where you can track uh, in front as well as behind you and then as we mentioned earlier we have our new headlights as well so not only new headlights but little tr little trim details like this where you see this type of coach when you pull into a campground uh, with this Essex I don't care if someone's got a Prevo or a Newell this is a head turner uh, this is a great way to get a ton of value for dollar if you want to get out on the road and live in the lap of luxury this is the way to do it uh, this is stock number 5N230 661. This is a 2024 Newmar Essex. Again, 5N230661. And my name is Katie O'Neill, coming to you live. This is my last video for 2023. For all of my fans out there, or the haters online, whoever you happen to be, thank you for making this one of the best years of my life. Please reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you get on the road and camping. Happy camping and happy new year.